Don't know what was wrong with the record button there. Hello everyone, I'm High Treason. Welcome back to Let's Play the Long Drive. We have come a long way. A very long way. Let's check the oil level real quick. Shall we top it up? Nah, let's just go. Unless we get some steep roads, they'll stop and I'll top it up. We are at 5046, 5046k. 795 on the odometer. So I guess uh, 845 is where we want to be by the time we end this part, minimum. We could find the end of the road. The roads always generate at like 5000k, roughly. I think they always are and the count is just inaccurate plus you drive off the road and if it's like say just 5k to a boat and 5k back and you do that 10 times well that's 100k you've just added on there isn't it? Something like I don't know. Fucking who cars. I can't math and drive at the same time we know this. <laughs> you know I look back at some of the parts and I'm just like what the fuck am I talking about because I'm not driving it makes sense but when I'm driving it's just like uh <laughs> must use the same part of my brain or something. But this is why I value talking to myself. You know, people I talk to you say, yeah I fucking do. And it's not only because I'm the only person who can give a sensible answer sometimes, so much as it helps me reach an answer faster, because the language centre of your brain is a different part to what might be working on a given problem. Yeah, another Plymouth in good shape. I ain't taking it. We'd, so we said we'd do it with this car, we'll do it with this fucking car, and that's final. Uh, you know, so really it's just multi-threading in human form. Well, uh, I am offloading part of the, the problem that my brain is tasked with to the language center in my brain, and so I can work on a, a solution to that problem faster. I mean, think about it, that's what's going on, because you you know, there'll be other people here who do it, and you talk about what you're doing. You know, you you say you're carrying a bunch of stuff and like laying it out like tools, and you're like, oh yeah, and what I'll do is I'll I'll put that board on there and I'll put like these screws here, and you know, I'll turn that bit over. And it, you're working faster, because if you are talking to yourself, you might be able to think that thread. But you're actually thinking about placing something in a lot of that. And what you're doing now is placing stuff. And your brain can handle more than one thing at a time, but not necessarily very well. And by offloading it into the language center, you're actually processing the information faster, is my theory. And I think that's why we do it. You're just multi-threading your brain. You know? <laughs> It's like, okay, that task goes on that thread, that task goes on that one. Yeah, that core isn't for general purpose, but it will do it, you know. It's like uh, telling a CPU to render graphics. It can do it, it's maybe not as proficient at it, but if the CPU was doing nothing otherwise, you know, it was just a, a processor core that was sat idle, you might as well give it something to do, and then you'll probably get the, you know, render of your, your fucking scene done faster or whatever. Yeah, it's just the, the same thing in human form, really. Ah, oh, stomach, what are you doing? Don't do that to me, that's not very nice. It's, uh, my stomach's at the emptying phase where I ate like a, a good while ago and my stomach is now going oh I've finished with that food let's stick it all down the intestines and there's not much left to shove down the intestines and it it feels quite odd you know sometimes when it does that it's like a normal function but it, it just feels strange it's probably because there's like holes in that bit or something it probably has to, to grind the muscles a bit harder for the last of whatever's actually in my stomach. And so, you know, because it's all fucking torn up there, that, that probably twinges a bit. I don't think you really have nerves there to feel pain very much, but your body does still react to it. It's pretty weird. It's nowhere near as bad as it was, you know, just fingers crossed this medication keeps working for us, because... 
uh, where, uh, you know, if that doesn't work, I'm kind of running out of options. To the point where the medical service won't really do anything. And so I would be kind of tempted to do something a little bit irrational where I would end up in hospital with it, you know. Because the end result would be that anyway, so... I'll sort of be like, right, fuck it, well, let's just do things that are going to speed that up so they have to to bring me in as an emergency and just fix it. Because otherwise you're just waiting for, like, you know, internal organs to fail at that point before they'll do anything, and that's yeah, not real good. Well, not necessarily organ failure, but certainly failure of, uh, of things in your body. And I don't really fancy having to get to that if I don't have to. The position I have to sit to drive on this game does make my stomach worse. You know, it's something I have found. This char has always made my stomach worse. I will get rid of it. Like <laughs> this char, I'm determined. Like, I'm just waiting for it to break enough. You know, you've heard it creak and crack and stuff, and I, I am approaching the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to dig my 90s char out of storage because, I mean, that thing ain't fantastic, but it is better than this. It's a lot better than this piece of shit. And maybe I should raise my desk. I have to modify my desk to put something on it at some point. So at that stage, I maybe will just weld a new frame onto the bottom of it that makes it taller so I can sit without my knees hunched up on everything. I should be able to do it. Like, you know, it's, uh, what, steel wire. Steel work comes like quite easily to me, it's wood that I have a problem with. I can build framework and stuff with wood, but not very proficiently. Like it'll be solid, it'll hold, it won't look very nice, and it'll take me quite a long time, whereas you, you give me a bunch of box section, an angle iron, an eye beam, and fucking whatever else, tube, you know, and sheet, I can knock you something out in no time. <laughs> I don't have to measure it to make a cut. Well, I, I don't a lot of the time. You know, oh, that's bad, you should. But I don't need to. I can just look at it and I know where to cut it. Even when it's an angled cut, quite often with steel, I can just be like, oh, that's where it needs to be. Zzz. There. Oh, fits perfectly. <laughs> don't ask me how. You know, some people just have a material that they're good at working with. Some people it's wood, some people it's plastic, some people it's it's metals. With me it's mild steel, you know, if I want to work on something and I've got a choice I'll use mild steel, it's cheaper, I can work with it quicker. The tools you get to use are more fun, because I get to play with angle grinders and welders when I do steel. And I have tried welding wood and it doesn't work, and I've tried angle grindering wood and you can do it, but good god that's a sensitive process because it just destroys it. So yeah, I think I'll stick to my steel, you know, it's uh, it's just nicer, I prefer the feel of it, prefer the smell of it, I even like the look of it. Wood is very pretty, I, I do like, wood has its place, you know, if I gave a fuck about my house I'd have varnished floorboards and, and everything going on, but I do like the look of steel, it, it, is, it is nice to look at. Metal in general, actually. I don't know about aluminum, that stuff's pretty ugly, but like steel and, and copper and, and like nickel and silver and, and brass and things, you know, they're, they're really nice. I like the smell of brass. But I do love the smell of steel, I think it might be my favourite. I don't know though, because I quite like the smell of lead. Lead has a really nice smell to it, especially when it's burning. I'd like to learn how to work lead. It's not a metal I've worked with very much. It's quite hard to get hold of now, but I, I would like to learn more about working with it. So I think it's quite fragile, but other than that, I don't imagine it's that difficult. It's a very malleable material. It has quite a low melting point and everything. I, I do think you'd be able to work with it with relative ease, as long as you weren't too heavy handed. It is good looking stuff.
used to use it on roofs and that, didn't they? They used to use it to make, oh, my old house was on uh, lead pipes. And people are, oh, it's your poison, and it's like, ah, fuck off. We live in a hard water area, you can't get lead poisoning. Not from, like, old pipe that's been there nearly 100 years, ain't gonna happen. Like, you know, a water supply pipe in such a... We are very much a hard water area. Our water has a lot of lime scale and other minerals in it, and what happens is it just curts the inside of the pipe in no time at all, so the water doesn't come in contact with the lead. The amount of free lead that you would get in the water would mostly just be from the water supply itself, if anything, like, it's completely fucking negligible. Like, it's just, it's nothing. It is really nothing. You're not worth worrying about. This can't be the end. There's no way the terrain's gonna load. Terrain's gonna load. Ooh, no, don't do that to me. Yeah, the purse carry on. We're just really pushing the terrain loading shit here. I don't know how far we got to go because it ain't going to be very far now. But I don't know if it'll be this part, the next, or like I say, you could easily go another fucking ten parts. Fun fact: there's over sixty hours in this now. I think so. Man, that's that's fucking weird. I just sort of like totted it up in my head, like while I was. Uh, having a, a smoke and a drink and stuff and being like, oh, I better go and record this uh, long drive soon. And, uh, yeah, I was just like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> it's definitely the longest uh, Let's Play I've ever done. I don't know if I ever want to do another one of this length. It hasn't been particularly taxing or anything. And I, I've said a million times, it's one of the things I like about this game, that it isn't too taxing. It is just a nice time waster game. I'm awake at night, I don't have too much to do. Got music to work on. You know, I'm steadily doing that, but I can't just do one thing all the time. Can't move shit around too much in the night, piss the neighbours off, so... You know, but I can sit and play this at pretty much any time, and... Yeah, it's fine, you know? That's a building, that's a workshop. God, this is fucking bleak looking out here. It just somehow looks really... F I think it's the cloud cover we're getting. It just looks really dead. 824. I don't remember what we start... Ah, oh, I do. So we have about 21k to go from here to be on target for the day. We probably will make it farther than that unless something goes horribly wrong. You know we usually overshoot our targets. They're uh, the, the fastest uh, long driver in the West, I think, at this point, so... No one's got no chance of catching us, but the road could be a lot longer yet. Like I say, I've said it before, I'll say it again, we just don't know. I just don't know why I want to stay here with you. That's a good song, actually, it's Captain Hollywood Project. <laughs> Terrain Gen really is struggling a bit now, isn't it, to draw the road out for us. It's uh, it's slowing down. Like it's uh, it's having a bit of a toughie with it. Disc access isn't too uh, aggressive or anything. Engine continues to drink oil. That looks like more road over there. That's good. Like I say, it's like this internal struggle in my brain of like, I want it to keep going, but at the same time, I, I'm looking forward to it being done. You know, just for the bragging rights, I've done it twice. But I've never driven all the way back though, and as I say, we are going to do that. Whether we do that as a a full series where you're always there with me, or whether I just, like, record key moments and cut it down. I really don't know, I can't say. Because it's going to be months away, probably, and I, I am definitely going to hold on, hope the game updates in the meantime. And then we should uh, get new stuff on the way back, but it should also be harder than driving here because of resource depletion and shit. So, yeah, you know, it could be quite a challenge, but I reckon I can do it. Like, we've been a bit sloppy on resources coming here, but, I mean, 
you know, it's because we know we're pushing to the end and there's just not much point in in worrying about it now. We're, we're still upwards of half a tank of gas, look. I do think we can get to the end on this tank of fuel. I have no reason to think we can't. It really is hitting me, that feeling now, though. It just it feels so weird. Oh, man, I, I am going to drive that green car all the way out here, though. <laughs> like I say, you ain't going to be with me for that journey. I'm going to do that on my own at some point. But I will, I will bring it out here between this series ending and the drive back happening in whatever way it happens. Because it will happen in one way or another. It's just, like I say, I'm not sure which way or the other it is going to happen yet. And as I've said, you know, we will check in at that point on the green car. Like, see if it's made it all the way to the end yet, or if I've not had time, and or just not bothered. I knew we were going to hit that. Did we lose anything? Didn't lose any hubcaps, we didn't lose bumpers. Whoops, I'm sure I Didn't lose anything in the car. I say we keep going. Actually, I wanted to roll a cigarette, so I'm kind of glad because I didn't want to stop without a reason. Well, this licorice paper keeps getting in my way. I'll just smoke this one. Let's not go too fast. That'll do. <clears throat> We're progressing. We've got a flatland, so my predictions about the terrain are uh, holding true so far. Like, it's not a super, super flat, flat land, but it's, uh, it is relatively flat, like I said, and it might get more wavy as we go, but, I don't know. As I say, who knows where the road end is. Every time you see the posts stop drawing in the distance, now that could be, fucking hell, it likes the rocks out here, doesn't it? Steer, fucking bastard. This wheel is so numb now. You just cannot get this thing to, to like, respond good anymore, this wheel. I quite like it, you know, I do. It's like, it is a fitting end. Because if you drove a shitty commie car like really, really far, it, it maybe would feel a bit worn out. At least in the setting of this desert where it was already beat when we got it, you know, it's, it's, it's seen a lot better days. We were driven it in a rather harsh environment. anything it looks like the terrain goes downhill a bit somewhere in the middle here well, that's on this side man it is it is in giving us the rocks and I'm really nervous that we're gonna get one that loads late but I don't want to drive super slowly either uh, truck why are the vehicles in real good all the vehicles we've seen out here are in real good shape now, when I drove to the end last time, the last vehicle I saw before the end of the road was a truck. Of course, it's completely random, none of this is predetermined, so... Seeing that one means nothing, but... You know, imagine if it was the same, just by... it would be pure chance. Actually, feel very strange about this. Well, it's, uh, it's really weird vibes coming out. This is super flat now. It's not going to last, but it's super flat. Well, it's nice to see the dancing mesas again. There's Mexican music coming on or something when they're just moving about the desert. Fucking mariachi band stood on top of it, just playing. Mary Arch, is that what they call it? I don't know. You know, those obnoxious fuckers with all their brass instruments and stuff. In movies, they always play that one fucking same song. <laughs> Shut up, rabbit. Mine's louder than yours. I 
Yeah, it's, uh, I'm sort of hoping we see the end in this part, but I'm, I'm sort of... I'll lose my bet on episode numbers <laughs> if we do. And I am still enjoying myself. I'm kind of, you know, hoping we don't, but... With every passing person... Oh, shit, that was a big green flash all the way across the horizon. The alien babes sense our approach. They know we're close. They know we're closer than we've ever been. You know, and they're fucking just fucking that's it now. Like they're probably orgasming at the thought. I'm coming, alien boost. My car don't go any faster. You notice we've lost speed. That's because it's eating the oil. That is because the oil has been used up and that is losing us power. I don't want to stop until I get to the end now. I will if I have to. If the oil light comes on, we'll get out and we'll top it up. But I don't want to. The fuel situation is fine. We're still just over half tank. You know, we're, uh, we're managing. That's a bunker. You notice again, spawn rates are high again when you get out here. It's weird. But would we have been okay taking that Plymouth? And given how it handles on gnarly roads, I don't think we would. I think those gnarly mountains that were fucking this car up would have caused a lot of damage to that Plymouth, and I think we'd have been a lot slower over it. So maybe I should have took it just to beef up the number of episodes, but that wasn't the intention here, and... Well, you know, we ain't gonna do that. We're gonna... We're gonna just do it the way that I think was the, the most, uh... dependable way, and that's this car. This car will get us there. Still losing a little bit more speed now. That oil must be going down fast. I mean, we're flooring the bastard. So that probably has something to do with it. Whoa, audio bugs. I haven't let, uh, let off the gas in a really long time, actually. No. I think I've just been to the floor on the gas pedal ever since I drove off from having uh, rolling that cigarette after we grazed that rock. Yeah, I really don't know what the terrain's going to do next. It might just give up and just give us this long flatland right until the end. I mean, that's what it did to me last time, pretty much, but it wasn't this flat. <laughs> I did kind of want it to end on a mountain. Shit, that is not nice to drive into. I might slow down, just because it's not easy to see now with that going on. <coughs> okay, if we can hurry up and go night time, or if we're first away from it, the road's tarting here, so we might be able to go a little bit quicker. Those rocks, you gotta watch out for them. Because you're in a flatland doesn't mean I want to crash, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's just the stippling. I thought I had windows in there. I was like, what? Is there like a factory or something now? There is a building type that people insist exists, and I've not seen one, so... I'm really not sure what to make. It isn't like that. It's a smaller building. Okay, there we go. There we go. Probably leave the parking brake off. The road's so flat, it ain't gonna fucking roll anywhere. Unless the wind pushes it. Can I hear that machine noise? Wow, it is absolutely silent out here. That's oddly eerie. <laughs> I said this end of the world feels dead, and well, there's your proof. <laughs> We've passed our target distance now. That bus might have wiped us out before we were going full pelt, just because of the, the like delay that you can have on spawning vehicles now. <coughs> yeah, because it was uh, 845, wasn't it, that we had to make it to? Well, we're past that, that's for sure. Oh, it looks like it goes a pill a bit here. A little bit of terrain variety. 
it keeps making noise like we're outside the car. That's usually not a good omen, means it's going to bug out when we try and exit the car. Luckily, I have a solution. There was something on the road there. That didn't look like a rock. Oh man, I'm going to try and remember to look back at that when I, I shove this in uh, for encoding. Because that looked like an object. I'm not going to turn around to go and look because I don't do that, but it looked like there was an object there. Well, it just been my eyes. Maybe it was a little rock, but, but I probably only had like two or three frames in which to look after I'd noticed it. So I was looking farther up the road. Man, it's... it's... Oh no! It's going distance, is this road? Not now, not after all we've just been through. Okay, we still have both mirrors, we've lost all four hubcaps, there's a fucking rabbit here to laugh at us. We've lost nothing inside the car, look at him, he's fucking laughing his ass off at us, bastard. Okay, well we'll try and pick these up from inside the car. Where is it? I didn't just fucking knock it out of the world, did I? No, I didn't. I can't believe that happened. That is bullshit right there. Impeding my progress. Not sure, where is the rock we hit? Where is our hubcaps? They might be missing now. There's another one. Might not be able to get them all back, you know. They may be lost to the desert. Well, we have to go with it, those are the rules. Consider that kind of unfair, to be honest, but... And they're not back here, right? It would have noticed. What is that one over there? How did it get over there? It doesn't show up from here. These not draw from the back when they're not in the car. Uh, I mean, in the... Well, I don't know what I'm on about anymore. Okay, that's three. It's not infeasible we could maybe recover a fourth one from somewhere else. Okay, hubcap, where are you? There's always one, isn't there? It's weird how there's... You only ever seem to be able to find three of them. Yeah, that's not it. Okay, we'll do a sweep back in the other direction. But it has probably just unloaded or something. That is a rock. Okay then, well, we'll just put these ones back on. And consider it as done as it's going to get, because there's really much we can do this far out. I knew I should have took a spa. Didn't. That's what we have to work on, I'm afraid. Oh, well, maybe we'll see another building. Maybe we'll just see it as we drive off. It's not impossible. Oh, I think that rock should have launched us like that. I probably made the mistake of trying to steer around it. That's not it. There it is. Found it. It's there. Wow, they, they don't draw for long, do they? That is fucking weird. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, so that is on fucking... I'm not leaving it. <laughs> We've got this far with all the car. I'm not I'm not going incomplete. This car will go over the line as complete as we can have it. Just to say we did. Let's go. We've got a few minutes left. Will we make it to the end in this part? Can you stop swinging my camera around? There we go. 
Is that two towers it is? Okay, let's get back in the car. We don't want to get rocked. Don't want to rock. <coughs> okay, that used a far bit of our time up, but yeah, such is life. Come on! Oh shit, not another rock. No, not now. Yeah, I don't need that. That must look like a, a fucking... Uh, it was for a railway, didn't it, that? It's just a trailer for the, the truck, but it looked like it was for a railway. <laughs> okay, we're going too fast, really. Should slow down, but... Yeah, fuck slowing down. We don't do slowing down now. Well, we do, but not if I don't think we have to. How much more road is there? <laughs> come on! Also, don't come on, keep going! <laughs> Up it goes, continues. I don't have a lot of minutes left, so yeah, I don't think we're going to reach the end in this part. We can go over time if we reach the end, it doesn't count. Like anything. So I got to the end dead on like the, the 45 minute marker then if we kept recording past that you can't add that onto the time because we'd already made it to the end. Anything past that doesn't go into the, the sun. You just want to be aware of that before you think you're uh, it wouldn't give you enough time like realistically that there's almost no chance of this not being done way ahead of the 4500 minute like you know limit that I set myself like there's just almost no chance of like it ever going over that now like I say unless we've been super freaky fucking road generation or something But I do bet your eyes are fucking with you, aren't they? They're going, oh, the road ends are, and it, it never does. Like, it keeps going. I mean, I remember the first time I came out here, I didn't know if the road had a limit or not. So, you know, I was constantly, like, you know, I was really starting to think, like, hey, it just doesn't end. Like, so those people are right, the ones who said the road just goes on forever. And I was going to go to 5500 and just, like, stop if it hadn't ended by then. But of course it ended. This road might go that far, we just don't know. Now the game definitely internally I think just counts 5,000 but as I say there, there seems to be inaccuracies there and some loss, some gain, it's all a bit weird. I can't pretend to know exactly how it works or anything but you know I can just report what I, I've observed. Pardon me. 865. I can't even remember what our target distance was in this one. I really can't. I think it was 845. I really don't know. It doesn't really matter anymore, does it? It really doesn't. Well, I know. It's all whatever. It's all. All just do as you can do, really. No many cars. But it's still about half a tank of fuel though, so that's good. Oil can't be that good, the light's not on yet. Probably come on the next part. Because we are going to be just chugging the oil down, just flooring it around like this. Oh shit man, these rocks. We're in another fucking grass biome. It's going to end in a grass biome, isn't it? The best that I hate grass biomes. Stop buffeting my car around. I don't like that. It's not nice. Pack it in. Knock it off. No. Stop. Stop. Fuck you. Dickhead. Not long left. We're going to have to stop somewhere at some point soon. Either the road stops or we stop. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh... Gonna have to do something. 
oof, nip to the bottom of the car there, did you see that? It hasn't done that chuck your right thing for a, a while now. So now it probably will. I thought there was a rock there and it was lines in the damn road again. Oh man. Gnarl roads are back. Gnarl roads. Excellent. Just what we always wanted. Yeah, I think this road's longer than my previous one though. Probably won't be by a lot, but I think it's longer. Oh shit, no, not this. I'm gonna hit a post. I think we're lucky because I think we actually just flew over another rock without hitting it though. Nothing came off. Love box almost looks like it's working loose, but this game don't do that, so just has precision issues occasionally when you load the game in if the car's not on a flat surface. But yeah, I'm running out of time, I'm running out of disk space, so <laughs> it's still going. It ain't through with us yet. The last gas station, it could be. But it could be the last but ten, <laughs> you know. We really don't know. We don't have the answers. We just have the ever increasing mysteries of the long drive. And life's important questions that will never be answered. And even if the answer was right in front of us, our puny human brains wouldn't be able to comprehend it anywhere, and probably really wouldn't even realise it was actually there. For some reason they had a very hard time structuring that final sentence. My brain was like, where do these words... It sort of knew what words needed to be in it, but I couldn't quite figure out why. So I just sort of went with whatever came out after a while. I was like, no, I can't just hang here forever. Let's just go forward with it. Spit it out. Don't swallow it. Man, it's bashing my fucking suspension in. Oh shit. It probably is just going to give us a bunch of gnarl roads right up to the end now. Just out of spite, it's like, ha ha ha, no, 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 you ain't having it that easy, mate. You fucking kicked me around so much this time, I need to make your life difficult. I don't like grass biomes, I really hate them. <laughs> Let me go back in a, a flat pearl desert. Stop making noises like I'm outside the car. Next thing something bad's gonna happen. Breaks my concentration when that's coming in and out. It's probably putting all through the bottom of the car with all the fucking, like, bottoming out it's doing on the road. About five minutes left before I have to say bye-byes for the today. I mean, in the end of the road today, it don't look like. I sort of hoped we could. And hoped we couldn't, and just wondered if we might, but... Yeah, I don't think we're doing it today. We should have made pretty good progress though. We should have really made pretty good progress. You know, we should be closer than close at this point. That's like it, it's going to be pretty funny because I'm sure whenever it comes it will be like a minute and a half into <laughs> into an episode where like, hello, I'm High Treason, welcome to Let's Play a Long Drive. Part whatever. Uh, let's start driving a car. Oh, there's the end of the road, see ya. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Uh, is that, that is probably how it's going to go. <laughs> so close. You know, I think we have done over 80k in this part as well. Or well, certainly somewhere close to it. Like I said, I don't actually remember what the odometer said. Just because I don't need to worry about it too much at this point. It doesn't matter anymore. But... Yeah, I feel... Ah, oh, there's the oil light. It came on. I was going to stop about now, but I will just run up to... fully up to time on this one, I think. It wouldn't even matter if I went over on this episode. It really wouldn't. Just because of, like, you know... Like I say, the, the odds of the road have been... much longer. Oh, fucking hell, man. The cloud cover's going fucking barmy. It's bombing. I'm not going to top the oil up because I, I want to try and just make it to the end with the car as is. I'm sure I see mountains so, so we might have to. We might have to. Fucking cloud cover man, what are you doing? 
He's having a rave. Fucking hell, it's like you're not meant to drive this far or something. What was that? It sounded like an engine start. Just for a sec, that... God, the audio engine's been weird. Only a couple of minutes left. I'm hoping we see a building. If we don't see a building, then we stop. Doesn't look like the lights go much further, actually. They will. It's, it'll just be the terrain loader, but... Because I can definitely see the road content. Yeah, there you go. That's why it's doing it. Well, there's your building. I guess this is where we're going to be stopping for today. We do have a few minutes left, but the odds of us reaching another building are uh, not very high. Oh, shit. You see, this is what I warned you about. It's a good job I slowed down, isn't it? That could have been very, very nasty. That could have killed us. Of course, it's a fucking Dacia blocking our path. It's ours. That's our fucking Dacia. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Have I managed to beat it? I've managed to beat the uh, killer bug. I don't really want to be auto saved here. If I have to load from here, it's going to kill me. Doesn't matter if we go over time on this though, does it now? Fucking hell, the cloud cover is just going crazy. Still can't get out. I'm just going to have to wait for uh, an interaction point to show up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to point at the char because it's a safer thing to do. But I'm just going to keep recording while this goes on. Because I can't cue view myself out of the car because I'm not in the char. So therefore there's no cue view from the car, even though I can go into cue mode on my own. And there's no get out stand prompt when you're not in the car. So we're basically trapped in the car, but actually lucky to not be dead from that bug that launched us through the ceiling. Oh, that's weird looking. Come on. This shouldn't be on the clock just because it's beyond my control, you know? The interaction point will come back. But it could take a long time. Maybe I'll just stop recording while I work, so I'm not really playing the game, am I? That's what I'll do. I'll rejoin you in a moment. Whenever it happens. Finally, the interaction point came back. Should be safe to do it that way. There we go. That is our fucking Dacia, I swear. The interaction points are still being buggy, so we can't look under the hood. Well, we can. Looks like it got its original engine back, but <laughs> I can't shake the feeling that it's my one. Am I going to be able to enter? There we go. Let's go up here. Let's have a look. Do we see a road end? Oh, done. If I saw the end confirmed, I would drive to it right now, but... Looks like that road keeps going. Maybe not. Who truly knows? <laughs> Let's do a save and get out of here. There we go, 5141. Can't be much left now. That's, that's gonna be it. Well, I treason, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.